How's it going everyone? I'm Contemption and today we had a million power on the Zenith of Power event for five legendary sculptures. I've been saving uh, research speed ups for a while now. We had a kingdom buff. I got scientists. We had a rune. Definitely got to take advantage of that and use my research speed ups as best as possible. So stick around through the intro. Please do hit the like and subscribe. This free to play account has hit a milestone and we're going to go over that now. So here we go. Okay, so first things first, let's grab these five legendary commander sculptures and bam. All right, that's finished. We hit a million not too long ago. I did speed up some buildings just so that I could get to the one million point. Um, and now I am ranked 67. It's obviously going to change a lot. I'll probably be bumped out of the top 100, which is required for the base rewards. I likely won't see that. We still have a long time. I'm sure there's still a lot of kingdom buffs in the other kingdoms when the, within this continent. So likely won't see anything from that. But I got five universal legendary sculptures, which is awesome for a completely free to play account. I have not purchased anything on this account. Growth fund, um, the 30 day gem supply, nothing, absolutely nothing on this account. It's still 100% free to play. And as you can see up here, we hit 10 million power which is awesome. It is day 73 and we've hit 10 million power. Could I have done better? Maybe if I wasn't juggling three accounts, I probably could have done a lot better. However, I've got my main account 1937, which is jumping into season of conquest. KVK, the level four pass is open soon. I have 2396 with my other alternate account that is at the tail end of KVK season two. So I've been very busy. So 10 million power day 73 is fantastic. What I've done to get there is really just take advantage of everything you get for free in this game. Any event that came up, uh, where's a good example? Obviously, I'm doing all of these and I will have a video coming out soon where I'm collecting all of these. Uh, every single one that I get and I will spend 3000 gems, I'm going to use at one time at the end of the event to really gauge how this was for free to play. Obviously, it's no comparison to the 7000 gem buy an event. However, we're going to see what it really compares to as a free to play perspective at the very end, using all of them at one time. I think that'll be fun. Uh, these events are what I really take advantage of. Um, getting all of these rewards is very important. Tempest Clash, which just came out today. I will 100% be doing this, getting as many rewards as possible. Uh, pretty much everything that comes out, uh, the league bets I bought as much as I possibly could. Obviously, I didn't get all the legendary commander sculptures, but I was able to buy some other things, especially the action points. So I could have done better with this, but I did use these, use this shop to the best of my ability to bump up this account as I needed it. Mightiest Governor has been very tough. Haven't really competed in that. I think I got five sculptures in total so far out of this account. It's really hard to compete in Mightiest Governor as free to play. Um, obviously action points. I've been trying to burn through action points as much as possible because I'm not on this account as often as I would like to be. So any chance I get to burn the action points, I have been burning them. I'm going to definitely use all of these on Marauders when they come up, but I don't know how much I'll get through in the 48 hours you have. Obviously it'll probably come when I have work. So I'm going to have to juggle all of that as well as my other accounts, which like I said, are going into KVK. So that's definitely going to be a juggle. Um, how am I doing in top 100? Actually 58, which I think is pretty sweet. Obviously that was just from the last minute push. I restarted the game, so that is current. So I'm sit sitting at 58, I'll go up and down, but I've stuck in the top 100. I think this entire time I've been in 2563. So I think that's pretty sweet. Uh, obviously, I, if you've caught my other videos before on this free to play account gathers at level 37 really early, pretty much right out of the gate has definitely been huge for me. Obviously I'm not in top place. I wasn't able to get CH 21 or sorry, CH 22. 
CH22 for five marches as quickly as other people who are spending money, but I haven't done too bad. Rank 10 for resource gathering when this is a third account, I don't think is too bad at all. Uh, we got to send out more. I've been doing a lot of barb forts, really struggling with getting enough of the books of the covenant. I think that'll be a grind forever. I don't think I'm going to be able to keep that as high level as I would like to, but it hasn't been too bad. Obviously, with this kingdom being super peaceful and well organized, I've been able to claim, I think, every single reward on here. I'd be surprised if I didn't see one that was claimed everything yeah everything's been claimed so i took full advantage of the monument i've gotten everything out of it it's been fantastic i i don't know if we're getting the last one here i honestly don't know any politics in this kingdom so i don't know if it's switching hands but we did get first occupation so those rewards were fantastic as well i've gotten like two shrines on this account for first capture two level two passes two level three passes or maybe it was just one level three pass but I've been able to get a lot of rewards for free just by being in good alliances and having great leadership in this kingdom definitely helps. Am I able to jump in there? Ooh, we might be able to. I don't have many cavalry. That's one thing. Of course, it's so delayed. That's one thing that is tough for free to play is I went in infantry. I went all in on infantry on this account. Uh, I've got Bjorn at level 50 and six stars, so I'll be able to push him higher. I've got Sun Tzu expertise now. I'm pushing Charles Martel. He's already 5-1-1-1, which I think is great. Richard's only 3-1-1-1, but I think we get one more wheel. If not, it'll be YSG, and I'll just have to use some universals to get him at 5-1-1-1 because I do want to use him in open field with Ethelfled as a secondary or even Sun Tzu or Bjorn as a secondary, one or the other. Uh, I'm working Joan right now, so that's going to be... I should be able to get Joan done before KVK. It shouldn't be an issue. We have a lot of events coming up, like Eve of the Crusade. Um, a lot of chances to get more uh, universal epic sculptures. So that'll be good, and including universal legendary sculptures, which will be fantastic and really help push this account along. Obviously, YSG at 5511 would be great. I'm not going to get him there, but that's what I'm going to push to next after Richard is finished at 5111. Uh, obviously, getting them to six stars is going to be very difficult. I will likely be field fighting with these two marches as primary at level 50, which is tough, but there's no way I'm going to get enough stars as a free-to-play. Working this many commanders, I don't think I have a chance at getting there. Maybe if I just focused one, then I might be able to, but I'd rather have uh, a bunch of different commanders to pull from, depending on how the enemy is going to focus certain marches out in open field. Uh, what else have we done here? Obviously, oh, we got another march back. Anytime, and I, I log in frequently, so that's probably why my resource gathering is pretty high, as well as the level 37 ga uh, commander gathering commanders. But I also send out as often as possible to Alliance resource nodes, for the extra 25% gathering speed. I oh, I typically always have a eight hour gathering bonus. Uh, where is it here? These are actually hard to get. I'm surprised I have five now. Um, obviously it's nicer to use this. So when you go to bed, if the, uh, here we go. No, he wants some wood, but he's not even there. So yay, don't have to send him anything. Um, but it's obviously nice to send your gatherer your best gatherers to the Alliance Woodlot or whatever Alliance Depot we have at the time right before you go to bed. Make sure you have a boost on a gathering speed buff. And then that way, when you wake up, you're going to have as many resources as you possibly can to wake up to, which is really nice. Because typically when you wake up, something's going to be finished. I'm going to have another building I can pop. I'm a ways away from wall 23. I've got a get on gathering a bunch of stone the goal is to have ch24 and academy 24 before kvk after that all of my universal speed ups will be going to training troops i want to get as many troops as possible to fill rallies and garrisons and of course help in open field but really my role is going to be filling rallies and garrisons that's just 
how it's going to be. I'm not going to have a huge field presence, especially if we're fighting T5. They just turn around and run, really. In my opinion, go join a rally. You're better off than filling your hospital by just totally punching a brick wall when you're hitting a T5. Not worth it. But what I want Academy 24 is to finish pull, pushing some of these researches, um, not speeding them up using universals, obviously just the uh, research speed ups that I get, I will use on those researches, but having the ability to push these is what I want. I don't want to have to run out of research and then my academy sit there and not be able to do anything. I've done pretty good on tech. Obviously I finished engineering and mathematics as early as possible. I had these done really quickly because I know how important it is in the long term, and it's definitely helped out get me to 10 million power so far. So I've got some work to do in here. Obviously it's going to help with gathering, but I'm really concentrating on KVK season one, and that's where my focus is going to be. I have to work some gear. I have the ability to forge gear. Uh, I need to get a full windswept set. I don't even have some of these crafted yet. So I need a lot of gold for that, but I'll be able to do that before we field fight. So I will get there. I'm definitely slacking on gear and really my commander levels could be better, but I haven't been doing guardians. I just don't have time for it. So I think the account is doing really good. Um, one thing I was going to do while we were here, I have 30 saved up so far. And one of the quests that is in here, where is it here? Esmeralda's collection, you need to spend 3000 gems. Obviously the best way for me to spend them because I'm getting close is VIP, one, two, three. Once I get, I'm already at 14,000. Once I'm able to unlock this with gems, the second it's available, I'm gonna do it because once I hit VIP 10, I'm getting one legendary commander sculpture a day. That's gonna accumulate quickly. That's gonna help me get my commanders up to where I need them to be. So as soon as I have enough gems, I'm going to push it. I've been getting really lucky with uh, Alliance. Where is it here? Like I've been getting lucky with VIP points in here. If I scroll down far enough, I'm sure you'll see a couple 1000s if they're still there. That was nice. Um, these definitely help. This is definitely pushing the account along. I swear it wasn't that long ago, but it is recharged so people are obviously buying more bundles than normal but there you go seeing this when you log in is 2000 gems fantastic such a good gift uh really appreciate being in this alliance it has helped so much uh, okay we got that march coming back so now we have oh, what did we get here good barb forts are done we've got there we go so i just need one more day and then i'll have these five so i'll have this whole blessings from above completed and then i'll just be waiting for another four days to finish off the daily quest and then i'll have a video of opening all of them at the same time just seeing what we get and keeping track of it but that besides that guys that's really my approach to it uh, high level gathers at the beginning always using your action points burning them off when you can obviously juggling three accounts is much different if this was my main focus I'd probably be doing guardians a lot more so my commanders would be higher and I wouldn't need to burn the action points because I'd be busy doing that. Barbarian keeps, barbarian camps, um, those I don't do but are great for players who have this as their main focus. And then I would be saving my action points for marauders where I would take those 48 hours and use as much time as possible into marauders for those rewards. Um, but that's it. That's honestly, there hasn't been a whole lot there's no secrets. It's just been staying on top of things. Obviously, I've got some gold keys I can open and I will be doing that probably the same time we do the Esmeralda, Elda, Esmeralda's prayer um, because we're going to get more gold keys from that. And then I'll open them up and we'll invest in some commanders and see how high we can get ours from this event. Who knows? Maybe we'll get this. That would be sweet. I would love a silent trial for this KVK. Yes, it's expensive to craft, but in an open field support role with somebody like Charles and Joan out there with a silent trial behind it as well, really going to help in open field. 
You're going to help buff your allies and debuff the enemy. And that's what it's all about. So there you go, guys. That's it. 10 million power, free to play account. Let me know what you think. Like I said, this is day 73 on this account, but it's actually only day. What day is it in this kingdom? It's day 65. So obviously I was a jumper. I had some time ahead of the, the actual kingdom starting. And so the kingdom's 65 days old. And that's where we're at. I think it's pretty sweet. I'm looking forward to KVK season one. I haven't fought in KVK season one in a very long time. And I have never fought in KVK season one as a free to play. So that should be very interesting. It's going to be different. It's going to be tough. I'm going to need to train a lot more troops because as you can see, I haven't focused a lot on T4 troops. So I really need to change my focus as soon as I get to CH24 and Academy 24, which I think should be in a couple, maybe like a week, I should be there depending on how events are. I know we got uh, Kerouac's showed up, which is fantastic. Those choice chests are really good. I'll be able to do the next difficulty. So I'll get more rewards. So that'll definitely help push the account along. But there you go, guys. That's it. Thank you very much for checking out the video. Please do. If you haven't, hit the like and subscribe. And um, there you go. Until next time, have a good one, guys. See you later.